What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and today we're going to install the drivers and the software for my Canon 800D, or otherwise known as the T7i. So what we got here is that we have the installer packages. We're going to choose the 3.11.0. Let's go ahead and choose it. And we're going to choose USA, Canada, Latin America, United States. Click on Next, English, Start installing eos utility installer close any other applications and click ok and then uh, this right here is the eos utility 3 utility 2 the eos lens registration tool and then the web service registration tool these two right here i have already done go ahead and choose install and then choose yes okay let's go ahead and click on next it says, uh, would you like to register now? I've already registered, so we're going to choose no. I will register later. Click on next. And then it says, to register for Canon Image Gateway later, you will need to run the installer again and then click the register button on the installer panel, which will display after selecting your regional area and language. Go ahead and choose OK. Go ahead and close out of this window. We're going to choose the EOS Utility 2 camera is not recognized and let's try this one more time let's go ahead and choose this first one choose agree and there we go now let's check out the camera settings right quick you got firmware updates date time zone settings register lens a variation correction data i think i pronounced that right register picture style file owner name author copyright register background music and web service settings i think i've already yep all this is already set choose return and then we got remote shooting okay live view shoot and there we go and then what you do is that you would come in here and then you would take pictures let's go ahead and close out of that then we're going to choose to go back to the main window then we're going to come over here to the download images then we're going to choose settings and Images not yet downloaded, all images. Images whose print order settings were specified with the camera. Protected images that have not been downloaded yet. So we're gonna choose all images because I want to take all images off from the uh, camera. Go ahead and choose okay. Right here it says uh, select and download. And uh, this right here is my future daughter-in-law. She was uh, trying on wedding dresses today and she found the one that she wanted. Let's come over here to edit and select images. And this right here is where you would select all the images that you want to download. But we also need to come in here and we need to set up where we want to download them to. And I want to download them over onto my A drive, which is what we saw just a minute ago. So let's go ahead and copy that. And we're going to come over here to preferences and then it's showing f catch all we're just going to change that to this and then choose okay and then we're going to come over and we're going to choose edit select images and select all images and now if we bring this over let's go and just i did not mean to do that so let's make this window a little bit smaller here slide it over slide this one over and so you can actually see it create the folders right here so I've got the pictures that we took today just a couple of hours ago of Jessica getting herself uh, into a new wedding dress and then right here we're going to choose download and you'll be able to see it create the folders right over here and then this is what we want to do so it's going to start it out at 208 which is February the 8th and today is February the 8th so you can choose OK and so that's pretty much how you do this go ahead and minimize that window and it's going to download all the images onto here and then once i get finished downloading the images then i will come on here and then i will delete all the images off from the camera but that is pretty much how you set up the software and use it uh, as you can tell at the beginning, the EOS Utility 2 did not recognize my camera, so we had to use the EOS Utility software, and that was the one that actually recognized my camera. Okay, I am Wayne Barron. This is Dark Effect Studios with the installation software for our Canon 800D or T7i. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.